Fizzy. The shirt is so old, there's just no point. It just doesn't work. It's here for it's here for aesthetic effect. It's an aesthetic button, it's not a functional button. Cause this hole is just so big, it just goes right through it. <sighs> How old is this shirt? Well it's concentric, so how long has Vincent's concentric existed? O one, O two, O three. I mean, they kind of exist now, I guess. I think XO brought the brand back, but where did they? Concentric.net. Concentric is an XO company. Oh my God, XO changed their logo. When did that happen? The concentric logo is the same, but the XO logo isn't. XO.com. Have I told you the story of XO? I probably have, and you're probably really bored by me telling you to you again. But XO.com was originally owned by Internex. Where's the Internex license plate? It's right up there. Internex 1997. You ain't seen nothing yet. At the time, we joked that we should have come up with come out with some Internex 1998 license plates. They would have said, now you have. But that didn't happen. Anyway, when Internex was in the uh, web site biz, and one of the incentives they had for customers was we would give free subdomains. And we didn't, didn't were, there weren't going to be Internex subdomains. So we needed something nice and short. So, uh, and you'd have to find someone who'd been in Internex even longer than I have to tell you the story properly. But someone in their infinite wisdom looked for short domain names and saw that XO.com and XO.net were available, so they registered them. And so Internex held on to them from 1998 through the acquisition by Concentric, uh, and so on and so forth. And finally, when Nextlink wanted to change their name, they chose XO, purely because they happened to have, as uh, amongst their assets, these incredibly short, easy to remember domains. Remember at the time thinking that a good slogan for XO would have been XO, we had the domain name, but again, shouted down on that. Probably why I'm not a millionaire from the dot com boom, even as we speak. Wow, that is one ugly logo. I was going to say, I bet if I look around, it wouldn't take me too long to find something with XO logo on this desk, but taking me longer than I thought. I at least used to have some old business cards, which were really good for showing off because I could show off my chris at xo.com email address, and people would think I was a big muckety-muck. Actually, do I have an XO card here in my collection? No. Again, it was a grandfathered thing. You got your username at XO as part of your internet package, so I was Chris because I was the only... Chris working there at the time, or the only one who used Chris for his username. Wow. I got a lot just from looking at the logo, what shirt I was wearing. To think I hadn't even picked out a shirt today. Anywho, it's a new week. I'm trying to decide if I want to burp or not. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, it's Monday. It's now 6.24 p.m. It's 80 degrees outside, which is kind of surprising. We had one day this weekend. It was glorious. I don't even think it hit 70. It was in the 60s all day. It was marvelous. Kept the windows wide open. The problem is with the change in temperature, I've now seen my first mouse of the year, or first mouse of the season. I'm sure there was a mouse in January that I just didn't know about. i got to figure out how these mice are getting in. I'm not letting them in. We're not keeping the doors wide open. There are no holes in the windows. How do mice get in the house? How does it happen? If they come in, do they stay? Or can they also leave? I would really like for this mouse to leave. It's August. It is not time for me to be thinking about fighting mice. I put a trap out. It hasn't gone anywhere near it. The allure of peanut butter is no longer alluring, I guess. Or i got to find some better traps. 
PS3 releases week of August 13th. Thanks, James and or Cubs. Wow. It's kind of sad there's no Olympics left. There's no more Olympics. I mean, there are some Olympics reruns that I guess NBC Sports is playing. What I would like to know is if there's now available a full stream of the entire closing ceremony. And I guess I'm kind of interested in the opening ceremony too, but it's so long, I don't know. But the closing ceremony I watched on the live stream because NBC deigned to make a live stream available, although not, not their own. I'm assuming it was a BBC stream, although apparently it was a, a British guy and an Australian, or was it an Australian guy? I don't know, there was a man and a woman and they both had accents, and their commentary wasn't much better than, you know, the Bob Costas, Al Michaels, Ryan Seacrest drama. But the good news was YouTube provided three audio feeds, English, Spanish, and natural sound, which meant no commentators and actually sounded a lot better. I don't know, when you tried to listen to the music with the English commentary, it ended up being muffled and kind of buried. So I kind of much stuck, I pretty much stuck to the natural sound on the entire way out. So I saw all the stuff that NBC cut out. They cut out the really cool countdown to the start because you wouldn't want to see a minute of photography because it wouldn't make sense to us dumb Americans, right? Anyway, it turned out that was the one also used for the opening ceremony, so somebody already had it on YouTube. I linked it. I tweeted it yesterday. There was a performance by Ray Davies that got cut, which is sad because Ray Davies is a cool dude, even as old as he looks. And it's ironic because that's probably the only song from the era of music that Bob Costas and Al Michaels could actually identify on the spot as opposed to stuff more recent than the 70s. Kate Bush's song was cut, which was sad, but Kate didn't appear, so I can see that going. Uh, George Michael's second song, which must have been some way of him holding them hostage to have him there, that you got to let him perform his new single. I don't mind so much that that was cut, but cutting the Muse performance, that was uh, kind of a surprise. I think Muse, M-U-S-E, I think they're kind of a big deal, right? Or at least they're a big enough deal in Britain that they should have shown them, given that they showed all 10,000 Jesse Jarrett performances and she's like nothing here. But I guess it was kind of harder to cut out Jesse J because then you also would have had to cut out Tiny Tempa and Tayo Cruz and oh, we can't have that. Why do I keep doing this? It's not going to work. Also, I got to hear Eric Idle unbleeped. Oh. Which was fun. And a surprise. It was kind of weird watching it on the live feed. Well, first of all, really, you're not going to give us seven or eight minutes of The Who because you want us to watch your crappy monkey show, NBC? Come on, man. Come on. It wasn't an isolated. They took like that seven and eight minutes of content and made it look like there was going to be like 45 minutes of show afterwards. Unfortunately, it was 20 minutes of them doing their closing credits. Uh, but watching Twitter during the live feed and then watching it again during prime time and then by the time the West Coast started watching it I decided that I would rather go to sleep than sit through it a third time but uh, quite an experience Twitter brought us all together of course with the 2016 Olympics uh, being in Rio in Brazil I think it's not too early to, to coin them the Orcut Olympics. That's a joke that will make sense to no one but me. It's too bad. I need more geeky Orcut types to follow me. <sighs> well, back to the daily grind and raw three hours tonight. i got to be home in half an hour so I can meet you there for it. So let me put this thing up. And... Uh, God, I'm going to be in early tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. It, I will get more and more progressively zombified as I come in earlier and earlier due to training and or uh, other things that necessitate me coming in super early. I forgot where I was going with that. That's okay. Please leave feedback or see if I 
am able to conjure up 10 minutes pulled from my ass again tomorrow. Either way, it should be awfully entertaining or entertainingly awful or just awful. Thanks for watching. Bye.